Okay, um, I had a question about gunsmithing and about some gunsmithing colleges and um, trying to show some of the gunsmithing. So I thought I'd try to combine it into one video because uh, I don't know if it's enough material to cover all of them. But anyway, what I'm doing here is, if you remember from some of the other videos, I left this two and a half thousandths um, higher than here so that it, I can file finish it and I can polish it out. So that's what I'm doing now. The, the re reason that I color you color red marker is you want to know where you're filing versus where you're not filing. And the reason I'm showing this is this is what a lot of gunsmithing is, um, just spending time filing. I've spent hours filing since I've gotten here, and I've only been, been here a semester, and this, I'm finishing my second semester, so two semesters total. Um, but you just got to be real careful and only take off from the outside and you only have two and a half thousands to play with um, but I like doing it here you can do it off off of there but the reason this is good is you can uh, um, you know it's flush you know and I like that because it's my gun and I want it to be flush um, and you can touch a little bit I mean because you will you're going to be polishing this out anyway but you don't want to touch too much you don't want to be touching the other bar the uh, end of the barrel if you can help it. But uh, Travis had asked about gunsmithing schools, and you're right about one thing: there really isn't that much information on the internet about gunsmithing schools. Um, and I'm from New York City, so man, they don't even like guns out there. In fact, I'll do s if I see some good propaganda posters. While I'm back home for break, I will do some videos on them. But they have a lot of anti-gun posters, and they're all paid for by tax dollars. So how does that work? But anyway, um, so yeah, in New York, it was really, especially really hard to find info. Um, the reason I found this place, I'm at Trinidad State Junior College. Um, I looked at a lot of forums, and it seemed like, to me, from what people were saying, was this is the place I need to be at. And so far, I found that to be the case. And, you know, I'm biased, of course, because I'm here, but... I, if I didn't like it, it would be, wouldn't be a great experience because you're, you're actually spending a lot of hours just working. Um, and as you can see, Magic Marker is your friend when it comes to filing. Um, and you know, this is slow, but you don't want to mess up right here, so you take your time. Take a little bit off at a time. I got, one of my instructors said I'm, sometimes he's like, dude, you don't have to do everything like you're going to NASA, but you know, if you can make it look good, and no, don't get me wrong, he does excellent work, but he's just saying do it a little faster, because if you want to make any money at it, hey, you got to do it quick. Um, but this is my first one, so I don't mind taking my time. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it was, it's hard finding information on schools, so I found this place. One of the things I looked for, uh, actually a couple things I looked for, one of the things I looked for was, do they teach you machining skills? Because if they don't teach you machining skills, you have to buy all the parts. And for this gun, um, I mean, I, I mean, you get to make the barrel, which you don't make the barrel. You, this is actually a Douglas target barrel, rifle barrel, and three of us split it and we cut it into three pieces. And so that's what this is. So this is a uh, this is actually a, a match match grade barrel, I guess. It's a it's a nice barrel. It's a target barrel. The underlug um, was just some scrap um, square stock that we uh, square stock we had downstairs in the tool room. And you, you cut that out, you put the radius in. So yeah, I mean, those are two things you could have, um, you ha you'd have to buy pre-bought, I guess, if you didn't know how to machine it. The top, I guess we, we could have machined it, but I guess just in time constraint-wise, it was hard enough just getting this stuff done in time. But anyway, yeah, so, and in, in order to get to that point, and I'm only a second semester, so there's guys who have a lot more experience than I do, but, um, you know, you make a bunch of tools. Let me just pull some out here. Um, you saw, I already saw the lapping tool that I made. Um, you got a bunch of mandrels, like you, you got these things, um, this was done on a machine on a lathe on this part, and this was cut out with a mill, which I still have to kind of clean it up, but it'll work, it's a functioning tool, and this is for, for next semester stock making, so I guess cut out some of the wood, made a tapping center, and this was one piece of bar stock, this is another piece of bar stock that slides inside, it's two pieces, so there, this is all done on the lathe. Um, this is, this is a tool, obviously. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that, that's one of the things I look for was, is it, is it going to teach me machining skills? 
And another thing I look for too, which which kind of helped, I guess, um, is uh, some schools are, N are affiliated with the NRA summer programs, and this school is as well. So I figured, well, the NRA, they would probably only pick schools where they'd have the right equipment or whatnot. So those are the two things that I looked at. Um, but like I said, I really like it here, and, and I think this year at the SHOT Show, they're going to have a display. So if, if you are going to be at the SHOT Show, um, you can go check us out. They have some of the students work up. Work up. But I've, um, I've heard good things about this school versus other schools, and I don't know what else to tell you. Um, in terms of Lassen specifically, I did look at Lassen, and they did have a, uh, they did have a um, machine program, and you know, they did seem like they did teach machining. However, for me, and it sucks because my brother lives in California, but um, for me, what tilted it to here was California has really strict gun laws or has some restrictive gun laws. So even though the school might be cool with it, um, there might be certain things that I'd want to learn or make and uh, just didn't, you know, didn't have, a, wouldn't have the opportunity to do so. That's another reason why I didn't pick Lassen. Because um, if I'm going to go, you know, I'll put myself in New York City, I'm going to go somewhere where you can do anything you want or you know, pretty much to the limits of what you can learn in gunsmithing, which is, I feel like I can do that here. Um, and also the instructors here are great, and you can, you guys can look that up. Um, so, yeah, I'm not trying to steer you to, you know, this isn't a commercial for Trinidad State Junior College, because I'm a student and I don't get anything for it, but I like it here. Um, anyway, I, you know, I hope that was helpful, but, you know, there's a couple different factors. Um, and Colorado's as far as gun laws go, it's pretty good. At least I found that to be the case. Anyway, I'm going to get back to this, but this is basically what you can look forward to when, when you come to gunsmithing. A lot of filing. In fact, look at my fingers. This one's bleeding, and this one's cut. Got cut. So I'm literally, you file till your fingers bleed. Um, but, you know, how else are you going to learn to do precision work later? you got to just do a lot of it here while you're a student and not later when your reputation's on the line and people are paying you and you're not delivering good work, you'd rather do the good work here, make your mistakes here while you have great teachers around to teach you stuff. But you gotta, you gotta love it because otherwise, there's, I think there are some kids and in the next class, because of Sons of Guns, they came here thinking it was one thing. And you know, Sons of Guns, yeah, that's gunsmithing, but that's just only one aspect of it. And you know, this kind of stuff you don't do on tactical weapons. So, um, yeah, so that just kind of know what you're getting into, I guess, before you come in. And in terms of money, I don't know how how well I'm going to do when I get out here, but that's okay. I mean, I'm doing it because I I really enjoy it. This is, I felt like this was something that I was kind of meant to do. But anyway, if you have any more questions, I hope I answered them. And I hope you can see kind of what we're doing here. I mean, this is... I'm going to be up all night doing this because this, this is due tomorrow and uh, I still have a, quite a bit of work to be done on it. In fact, I'll kind of, actually, well, let's see how much time I have. Two minutes, I'll just show you real quick. Um, I'm going to bevel these. This is going to be beveled. Got to put a bevel all the way around. Same thing with a file. Going to bevel in here, make it look nice. Got to polish all the edges inside here and polish the whole thing. Uh, and I also have a screw here. Luckily, I had a screw that fit. It's not exact right length, so I'm going to take it down to length. But otherwise, I would have had to make a new screw, which would, you know, it's not hard, but it's going to take like, you know, a couple hours to do, uh, you know, at least an hour or two. Um, but that's another thing. If you learn how to machine, you can learn to make your own screws if you have like weird screws that you can't find anywhere. Anyway, I hope you, um, if you have any questions, um, and I'll show, again, I'll show the rifle, the revolver now. I just, I would go make a more, I guess, Anyway, that's it.